I used to be a performer in Dublin and we had a performance troupe called Paper Dolls and it was Ariel Surfy. Um, and we would collaborate with all different artists so I think it's inevitable after a while we would meet some musicians who were ranting and raving about this thing and I was very curious and went for a few lessons. Um, wasn't ready for it at the time but some of it just sunk deep and I, I came to Australia and eventually studied full time. <laughs> Well, I was retired, long retired by the time I found Alexander Technique, to be honest. So, but in hindsight, if I had it, I would have had a lot longer career because I definitely just burnt out. I didn't take breaks, stress, stress, stress. It's completely changed my life. Like, never mind the, because um, I was in chronic pain, so no more pain. And that, that took a, about six months to a year for a lot of that to just unravel and let go. And also a lot of, um, in the course, every Thursday we do singing voice. Uh, and that was a major challenge for me. And I would have tanties, I would like jokes, deflect. Irish are very good at deflecting. And by the end of the course, I was like looking people in the eye, singing, it sounded, sounded good and enjoying it. So it just really freed me up and like public speaking was a part of my job as well. So that just got easier and easier. I could stand in front of a mic and just, it was with ease. The classes involved when it comes to acting, we still go through quite a lot of the low stimulus, mundane movements of life, sitting, standing, walking, talking. Um, and we have a lot of games and we play and to develop people's like observation skills of themselves, what's going on physically, what they're thinking as they're doing things and also their relationship to their environment and external. Um, being able to stop because we were very fast paced, we're kind of in hyperdrive and just coming back and stopping and grounding then we can get in more information like that and we work oh, it's all these different ways but like developing those skills to stop getting information and being able to um, say no to the things we don't want because that just frees up what we do want it's basically an educational method so we're getting we're teaching people to become aware of their habits in posture, in movement, and in thinking, um, and teaching people to know what balance feels like and know when they're bringing themselves off balance. So it is working with a um, on a physical realm, but it's also teaching people to just to have space between a stimulus and their response. So this is where our habit is just to have enough space then just to choose. So for me, it's a lot about developing choice and autonomy. And so the overall well-being improves energy balance and all that. But as a tool in acting, it's everything. It's getting out of that fear response or, you know, when people really rush lines because they're uncomfortable, it's just like, take your time. Finding the breath again, finding the ground, and, find anchoring back in this environment because it's just getting this out of the way.